Hello, I'm Sonia karasik Ratti. These are the top stories from DVB. Violence in Arakan State has displaced more than 400 people as families fled villages in Chowktor to escape the fighting between rebel group the Arakan Army and Burmese government forces, which broke out on the 17th of April. A local relief group say they were blocked from providing aid to the refugees. Food supplies and mosquito nets were instead left at a nearby monastery for distribution. Government forces have denied that any villagers have been displaced as a result of the fighting. Burma's president, Thane Sain, has joined Indonesian President Joko Widodo in opening the Asian African Conference in what is a crucial year for ASEAN states. This year's Asian African Conference comes as ASEAN states prepare to integrate into a single economic community. The planned elimination of non-tariff barriers to trade is set to give a big boost to businesses particularly in the bloc's major economies, such as Thailand, Singapore and Indonesia. But for the bloc's smaller players, such as Burma, there are real concerns over the growing regional wealth gap. Many analysts, however, say Burma and other low GDP members stand to gain from trade liberalization. I think the next stage of liberalization of tariffs on goods will bring in countries like Myanmar, Vietnam, Cambodia and Laos. And, and these are also very low wage countries. So they also stand to benefit very much if they can create a competitive environment to attract foreign manufacturing in. Talks in Indonesia will extend for two days, in which leaders are expected to emphasize cooperation in counter-terrorism, education and women's empowerment, as well as economic unity. This year, Burma again ranks alongside the world's worst for press censorship. North Korea and Saudi Arabia joined Burma on a list compiled by Watchdog, the Committee to Protect Journalists. A ranking of ninth lowest comes after a series of setbacks for media freedoms in 2014. Freelancer Baji was killed in military custody after covering fighting between government forces and rebel group, and journalists from Unity Journal and Baimon Tetne paper were imprisoned last year. Renowned lawyer Robert Sanong has been nominated for a prestigious Human Rights Prize. He's up for this year's Martin Ennals Award selected by a jury of major human rights organisations including Human Rights Watch and Amnesty International. Robert Sanong has provided counsel in some of the most high-profile cases in Burma in recent years, representing child soldiers, protesters from Leopard and Copper Mine and student activists. Activists from Saudi Arabia and Guinea are also up for the award, which will be presented later this year in Geneva. You can find more on all of today's stories at dvb.no. Bye for now.